Every week I ask myself, can the boys on Dig Fellas ratchet up the excitement another notch? And every week the Dig Fellas answer, hell yeah. Oh yeah! That is sick! Ponto madness! Woohoo! Dude, that's awesome. Oh yeah! Run for the hills, run! Up to the hills! <laughs> Sweet! Nice find there. Metal detecting legend, Bill Lack. Well, what's up? Ah, well, look out, Kevin. Accidental! <laughs> <laughs> Kevin. My dangerous toy switch. It's going, look. Look, holy shit! <laughs> oh, my God. We're hardcore diggers, and we'll do whatever it takes to get to the treasure. Yeah! Our finds are legendary. Yeah! Yeah! I'm the best. I'm a cover boy. <laughs>
Dude, that's awesome. How far down are you? 20 feet? 30 feet? At least, at least 15. We're at the bottom, we're staying at the bottom. We want to find the oldest and best stuff. All right, here's one that rolled down, and we're also wondering what the hell this is. It looks like an old wagon wheel or something up in there. And sliding out underneath is a brown bottle. Ooh, it's siphonaptal, which is uh, pretty common. But nice giveaway bottle, brown color. It is a nice ash layer. You can see the layer of ash and then it goes down to the sand and down where Mark is is natural clay. Yep, we're at the virgin bottom. Alright, another thing I wanted to show. I know my metal detecting friends would appreciate some of the metal stuff that come out in dump digging. Look at this, we've got an old spoon. This is stuff you gotta eyeball. An old spoon. And these would have been good metal detecting finds. I don't even know what this is. It looks like a homemade ashtray, maybe. Someone flipped up the sides. Or just an old made, old homemade change dish. It's got like a scallop pattern. Pretty wild. I'm gonna keep those. Dude, this just slid down with a bottle in here, and I think there's something on it. Look. Oh yeah. Look at that. Another medicine or something. Worcester Mass, it says. Stove ink. Sto I think that was to put coloring back on your, your stove, your antique stove. Johnson's Laboratory, Worcester Mass. I've nice. never dug one of those. Nice. 1880 or something. That's pretty cool. I'll take it. Anything embossed, I'm going to probably take. Sweet. Well, look at this. The age of smartphones. Gotta love it. We found an advertisement. And uh, it is a stove blackening. Look at the little man. Look at the little ad. That's not politically correct nowadays, but pretty cool we found an old ad for it. And it was right. It says household. It's under the household cleaning. Uh, and it is a stove blackening. 25 cents. That's awesome. That was a lot of money back then, a quarter for that thing. Sweet. Well, this is the ash layer we're looking for here. Ooh. You see how it goes down to natural clay and sand. And we're looking for that ash layer. That holds the bottles. Mark, check this. I got an inkwell or something. Well, look out, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. My dangerous toy sweatshirt, my rare. Ah, oh, you're okay. A little dirt never killed anybody yeah, yet. Well, hopefully the whole thing don't come down on it. Look at this mark. There's an ink or something right here. See that? It's shadowed in the sun. Looks like an ink well. well am, I, am I in the camera? There we go. A little droplets are coming on me. I'm also beware of a cave-in while yeah. I'm under here. Check this out. Hold the camera while I pull it out, Mark. Yeah, it's a little ink. I don't know if there's, there's nothing on it, but it's pretty early. It's a cool little ink well. Might be a keeper. Oh yeah. All right, we're making some headway here. The bottle right there. Ooh, nice. A bottle just slid out. Look at this nice white ash layer, and that's. I just pointed it out, and now we got a bottle in there. This is what you gotta look for. This ash layer always holds the bottles. Probably another plain one, right? It's Usually they are uh, like that shape. I'm not yeah. sure. 
Oh wait, there's light embossing on there. Look at that. I've never seen that one. It's, look at it. Yeah, it's crooked like. That's cool. That's oh, unique. Yeah, look at that. The the Columbus Pharmaceutical Company, Columbus, Ohio. Wow, I've never seen one of those around here. That came a long way, right? Thin lip too. It's yeah. not cracked. That's amazing. Yep. Sweet. Nice find there. Run for the hills, run! Up to the hills. <laughs> run for your life. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's going. Look. Look, holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! My neck. <laughs> you know you'll never see that. <laughs> Mark's yelling. He's got something. Look at this. It's just, I just pulled this out of the dirt. A horse. That's pretty too. Look at that. That's a horse. A horse figurine. Broke off something, but it's neat. I would have liked to have that all one piece, that would have been nice. Yeah, who knows what it was off of, an ashtray or who knows. It's pretty neat though, still pretty cool. I like it. You could still put it up on the shelf. I'm still going to take it home. Yeah, neat. Yeah! Alright, remember we started about where the wheelbarrow was. We're really making some headway. Look how far down we are. Alright, we're still working this, look. There's a little one, Mark, and uh, that's plain, but this soda, oh yeah, that's that motif again. It's this crown top, but it's just after Blob. That nice motif uh, says California Wine Company. Oh God, another one of those. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, these are collectible, though. We're just, we've just seen a ton of them today. Nice giveaway bottle. We'll do a contest on my YouTube channel for bottles. It's a uh, California Wine Company. Okay, there's a nice crowny, nice soda or something. <coughs> Sweet. Oh, this is exciting. We're hoping we're getting older here. There's an open Ponto bottle. Yeah, just half of one. Damn, that is sick. Ponto madness. Wide open Ponto. It's a penal, I think it's a penal side. Yeah. You see all the penals? No writing on it. Um, yeah. sides. Another heartbreaker just rolled down. Look at this one. Oh man. Bell and Company, a New York chemist. That doesn't look like a fresh break in the corner, but it's tough when you got frozen ground up there. All right, here's something just rolled out. I got a nice little ash layer up under this corner here. I'm pulling down. Here's something. Uh... Oh, yeah. I've seen that, Mark. Scott's Emulsion. That's the cod liver oil. Yeah, cod that? liver oil, Scott's Emulsion. Yeah. And, uh... As I said, I'm up under here. I'm trying to work this ash layer here. And look what I spotted when I was pulling down. Looks like one of those swirled Ponto marbles. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh yeah, that's oh, definitely yeah. what it is. These yeah, are those yeah. collectible, uh, you know, not these, uh, you know, later marbles that are all like really, uh, I bet you you'll find a polished Ponto on that one. Some of these is marble collectors out there, see that? That might be the Ponto right there. Yeah, I think yeah. it is. And you can tell this is earlier. The later swirly marbles are more like um, shiny, more like glossy layer. So this is an older marble for sure. To take a picture, get it to a marble collector. Oh, this is getting ready to go again. Look how far down we are. Oh yeah. All right, we, this is exciting here. We just had a cave in. This came down and look at this, Mark. Dundee Marmalade. We've seen these before and there's one for you over here. Oh no, I can see it. I can see yeah, it. Let me just bring the camera in. We're afraid of a collapse here, so we want to get these out quickly. 
Very carefully, very quickly. Look at this. These are awesome toothbrush holders. I love finding these. They're not worth a ton, but they look awesome, don't they, Mark? Beautiful. All right, let's see. And we've got a soda and another one down here. It says 1882 on it. Yep. That's about oh, the... 1860? No, sorry, ninth. 1862. All right, well, we got a great layer coming across here. Let me see if I can pull this back. We know this is about to come down though, so see if I can get Mark one before this comes <coughs> down. This comes down, we're done. We're done for the day if this comes down. Let's see if we can get these out before it does. We're dealing with this being frozen too, which is half the battle. Keep rolling, this comes down, we're running for it's the hills crunchy. again. Sounds it's nice and crunchy. crunchy. Let's see how frozen this is. Yeah. Here's another one that just rolled down, Chlorite, Boston Mass. Or color right. I think it was a shoe polish or something. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna get in another hot spot here. This is a round version of Scythonaphthol in Boston. You've seen this version, oh, Mark. Yeah, yeah. A little more rare. Look at this up here. The blue bottle. John Wyeth. I'm familiar with that one. Look Hopefully it's too. not frozen in. Alright. This John Wyeth should be coming out. Hopefully the top's there. I gotta get under it. Weary of this coming down. All right, this is ready to go and I'm gonna pull this out of here quickly. What a good layer we got in here though. Tons of glass. Now here's the last two. Nice colors here. Look at that. That had a dose cap on it. I've seen it. It's like an eye wash looking thing. Nice way to end a great dig. And as soon as this comes down, which is very shortly. All right, we're wiped out and this is getting way too dangerous. So uh, I think we'll end the day with this. Just pulled this out. This Omega oil. I think it was like sewing machine oil or something. Someone can correct me or I'll get an advertisement like we did earlier. I'm out of breath and uh, thanks for tuning in to a sick bottle dig. Oh yeah. All right, we wanna do something a little educational because two of the bottles that we found today, here's another one. These are common and bottle diggers would find these all the time but I'm no I know some of my detective people would love to find something like this look at the light blue color and all the bubbles in this one this is Soya's crystal bluing and earlier we showed the Cabot siphonethal and these are both household products and we just found a 1910 ad on my phone let me see if I can get out of the glare here this 1910 ad for both of these things in good housekeeping and Sawyer's crystal blue and see the lady holding it up this was like to make your uh, shirts whiter it says it right there and this sulfo nathol or yep that was actually sometimes it's spelled with a P and sometimes it's spelled nathol this is naphthol in the ad um, anyway cabots, so it's cabots yeah cabots and this was like a disinfectant or germicide, it says, for dirt, grease, and grime. That's pretty cool. That's the... awesome. So neat that we can pull this up right on our phone and see what we're looking at here. Here's hot break a hill right here. Look at these things. This blue um, crockery jugs. Somerset Mass. We are in Massachusetts now. This Somerset Mass and Worcester Mass and Norton.
Hey, look, Mark. Look who it is. This is the cloak. Yukon Cornelius. No, it's Howard. Howard? They wouldn't let him out of the house today. His girlfriend wouldn't let him join us. That's the closest he's going to get to a bottle dig. Nope, nothing. <laughs> I heard Howard quit digging. He's in some ghost hunting group or something. He made some ghost hunting group called Never. He's never gonna catch any ghosts. <laughs> He's never gonna own an automobile. Poor Howard. He's, I don't feel bad for him. He's never gonna dig with us again. His girlfriend won't let him. Wow, that's terrible. My girlfriend will never tell me what to do. Me neither. Grow some balls. That's why I don't have one. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.